When I first purchased this Alenco DJ MD5 DMR radio, I was a little frustrated by the display. I kind of wanted it to look like the display on the Anytone radios, uh, so I wanted to switch off the sub band, and I wanted it to display the current channel and the zone name, and really that was all. Uh, I didn't mind the time and the last heard uh, details coming along, that wasn't an issue to me. But the primary part of the display, I just wanted the zone name to be the zone name, not to alternate between the zone name and the actual talk group name, as it's called in the radio settings. It turned out that it wasn't too easy to find that setting to switch that off, but I was able to do it, and here is the result. You can clearly see the channel name and the zone name. Both are displayed permanently on the screen. And then in the position that the sub-channel was before, it's now showing me the last group and the last caller that was heard. So that is much more pleasing to my eye, much easier for me to use and just how I wanted the display to actually be. So uh, to see it in operation, channels, we just uh, rotate the knob at the top and of course, we can press this to switch our groups. So right now I'm in the DMR Plus groups. I can switch over to the Brandmeister groups. And, um, and there we have it. So the talk group is only displayed as part of the channel name now. And the zone is permanently displayed. Which was, like I say, exactly how I wanted it to be. I made the changes to the display setting using Alinko's CPS, that's the customer programming software which is freely downloadable from the Remtronics website. So to make the changes I went to the optional setting area. Now clicking optional setting once brings up this box on screen and you'll notice that there are quite a few different tabs. Now. Although we're dealing with the display, surprisingly, the first area that we want to go to is the work mode tab just underneath power on. So a single click on work mode brings up the following options and you'll see the last option is sub channel mode and it is currently switched on. So what I did was I changed on just by clicking on the drop box, selected off and clicking there and that was the change made. So that's how I switched off the sub channel mode in the display. To actually get the zone area to remain just telling me the zone instead of switching between zone and talk group, that was controlled by a setting in the display tab. So I clicked on display and it's actually down near the bottom. It's not intuitively named. The one you want is display current contact. Now you'll see here that display current contact was initially turned on. What I did again, single click, select it off and that took care of the alternating zone name and talk group name. So that's how you switch that off and it will only display the zone name whenever you're in this mode and display current contact is turned off and that's what I had been looking to achieve. Then it was just a matter of uh, clicking OK, resaving my um, contents, the, the changes that I'd made, then pushing them out to the radio by writing the data. So I clicked on OK. I didn't update the contact list. I just changed the other data section and pushed that through. That then made the change to the radio itself. The data was completed in a good normal fashion. And that was that. So I hope that is helpful uh, to some people on here. If it is, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you want more radio tips uh, from Frugal Radio, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Many thanks, and we'll see you again soon.